What is up YouTube? My name is Bunny Films, and today we are in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 by default too. And um yeah, we're here with some fans. Hello everyone, hello the dammy boy or ham dammy dude boy, uh 9k2s and ifran66. So up here, fantastic day. In this video, we're doing a um ice rink tutorial. So this is a moderately sized um ice rink. This is gonna be the dimensions actually. So um, there's a lot of blueprints that go into this. This is going to be a very, not very difficult build, but it's going to be a build that will require effort and a lot of ice wood. So you need a lot of ice wood. I do have the power to build with these, so it is pretty easy to fill all these blueprints. And let me check, what is my... Okay, my graphics quality is at the maximum because... So anyways, guys, before we do the build, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell because... Yeah, press it. I mean, why not? So anyways, um, so I haven't made videos for a while because I had finals and whatnot. I actually did pretty well in finals at school. It's now summer break for me. I know for many it's not. Um, but anyways, I did pretty well. I got uh, five A's and two B pluses. They're 88 and 89%, so I was super close, but couldn't pull it off. But, um, and then also my, uh, there's a ceiling in my studio and it's leaking because of condensation and whatnot. And then I had to get a new phone because my other one broke. And then, um, yeah, this all happened today, and then, yeah, I, that basically summarizes my day. Oh, yeah, and also there's a Windows update to my computer, and it literally broke it because, um, or made it really slow because there's some sort of storage bug, Windows update 1803, but I fixed it. But now we're back to normal and actually can play games and stuff, because I was trying to make a video yesterday, but it won't work. But anyways, enough rambling on, let's get on with the blueprints we will need. So this is going to be a long list, so, um concentrate yourself so this is going to be for the main part of the ice rink this is not going to include the court the corners or the border or um i don't know just the let's just say border yeah border anyways so you need f and this is going to be all ice wood so don't use any other wood except ice wood except where i tell you and then um yeah so you need four eight by twos you need four four by fours you need eight eight by fours eight posts 12 two by two small tiles one four by four tile and eight thin countertops and um i made a typo on my list but you also need four um regular countertops and you can get the countertops at links or not links logic but at fancy furnishings across the bridge and then um you have to make sure you do get tiles and floors so they're different things like look here so this is a tile here it's like low and stuff and these are all tiles so i should stack them and then like this is the size of a floor right here it's not technically floor but that's basically a floor right there so notice the difference and then anyways let's continue on with the list so for the um corners which are these curved pieces here i mean this would be such an easy build if you made this a rectangle but that's just lame and too easy to make we need to actually go to the next level so these are going to be special corners you can do this different ways like you can just do a different way i don't know but anyways the way we did it, we used wedges and whatnot so for the corners, we only this is gonna be a lot, and I'm not sure if this will be 100% correct, but this is what I believe we will. Four posts, 24 tiny floors, four small floors, four four by twos, four four by fours, eight one over three by one wedges, eight one over two by one wedges, and four one over one by one wedges. So that's for all four corners here, and that's that's all the stuff here. I don't even know where I got this one. I think it might be an extra or something. But anyways. We also, uh, you can, you also need some wires for the goals, um, you can do whatever you want for wires, I'm, I'm not, I, yeah, we're gonna make the goal in the video, but, I mean, yeah, I'll show you later. And then for the border, what we did is we used, um, I'm not gonna build this in the video, but we did, uh, 10 8x4s, 8 1 over 3 by one or 8 1 over 3 wedges, 8 1 over 2 wedges, and 4 1 over 1 wedges. So basically, this is how it goes. So there are four, here's a dot, oh, I'll just show you a diagram. Okay, guys, so I made a diagram. You're welcome. Anyway, so let's begin with the build. So how we're going to first start off is we are going to... Um, uh, let's start with the corners. So I don't, I, I, I wish I didn't have to do every single corner, but I just don't want any confusion. So I'm just going to maybe time lapse some of it. But basically, um, this is the pile of all stuff we'll need. And it's all ice wood. So let's position. This is taking forever to position. Come on. This is... Okay, there we go closer oh my gosh this waste time so you can grab a one or three by one and place it right here like this along the border and then you want to grab a um, little lag a one over two by one wedge place it right here and if you did make this correctly it should match up perfectly and i do know this is a bit rigid on the other side you can fix that on your own time it's not my problem i'm going to deal with right now because um it's not a major part of the build so you want to grab a one over one by one place it right there and then 
This is basically like a circle. So then you want to grab a one, another one over two by one wedge, and except you want to rotate it so it can be placed like right here. There we go. And you want to grab a one over three by one wedge and place this right here. And it should look like this. We're going to do that for all four corners. So um, yeah, but ne I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to focus on one corner first. So then what we want to do is you want to grab a. Um, how about if you want to grab a uh, post? And you're going to place this on the bottom like this, and it should look like that. And then what you want to do is you want to grab three tiny floors. So, I mean, I don't want to, I, I wish I didn't have to use all these tiny floors, because it, it's really bothersome when I have to use all of them, because it's just a lot of blueprints. But you need to grab them and uh, place them right next to the post, three in a row, like this. There we go, and it should look like this. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab a small floor. You're going to place it right on the end like this. This is going to be like a little square-ish. Uh, and then you want to grab a short smooth wall, 4x2, place it up here like this so it's boxed in and it's all connecting, and um, I don't know where everyone it went, um, but anyways, so then we want to grab a short smooth wall, you want to place also 4x4, four four, place it in the middle like that, and then you should have these little spaces, so this is 4, 6, to, oh dang it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, uh, I might have counted a bit off, but I apologize. So, I, it, it will be correct on the screen, just what I said will not be correct, um, but, yeah, I'm sorry about this. So, you want to grab the tiny tiles, and I, I believe you need, yeah, you need total six, just fill in the little holes that are left, and this is just an easier way you can build the corners, and I do apologize if this is a difficult build, but this is the most quality hockey arena you will build in your entire life. So, let's grab that one up here, I'm trying to stay organized, you want to place that there. And place this here. So, um, question of the day. What are some of the builds you have done with Icewood? What are some cool things you have built with it? Let me know in the comment section below the coolest project someone has done with Icewood. We'll get a free shout out. Woohoo. So now we're going to do another corner. And um, I'm not going to bother doing other corners. I'll do that on time lapse after I finish this one. But just in case you guys need another look at it. You want to grab a 1 over 3 by 1 wedge. And feel free to skip, skip ahead if you want to. You want to place this right here like that. There we go. And you want to grab another one. I don't know the exact time, uh, time stamp you want to skip to, but um, if you just want to skip ahead, I would recommend that if you already know what you're doing. You want to grab a 1 over 1 by 1 wedge, place it right here like this. Grab another wedge, uh, 1 over 2 by 1 wedge right here. There we go. And you want to rotate it perfectly so it fits like that. There we go. And then you want to grab a 1 over 3 by 1 wedge, and you want to place it right over here like this, and it should fit perfectly. There we go. And then we want to go ahead and grab a post, and we can place the post right here like we did with the other thing. And then we want to grab another one. That's the wrong blueprint. You want to grab a 1 by 1 by 1, also a tiny floor, place that there, and do that with two other blueprints. Oh boy, that, that was a lot of talking. So place one there, and then grab another one, and place it there. There we go. So, corners are a bit complex. I do apologize for it, but I mean, it's quality that makes something... I, I don't know, but yeah, quality. That's what I go for. So place a 2x2 two two right there. You and, uh, Yeah, place the 2x2 two two right here. Grab the 4x4, four four, place it in the middle like that, and grab the 4x2. There we go. Like that, there we go. And then we want to go ahead and grab uh, six tiny floors and just fill in the little gaps. So that's one. And that is two. Come on. Two. Three. Four. Oh, nope. And almost done. Almost done with the little corners on this half of the ice. And if you don't know where to get ice wood, uh, I should have said this earlier, but I do have a video up on it. I'll try to put a link into, uh, for it in the comment sec or in the uh, description. Uh, but yeah, it's basically in snipe, sn snipe biome, snow biome, uh, which is um, happens to be like right over there on the other side of these mountains and stuff. But anyways, that's it. And now I'm going to do a time lapse. So yeah, peace. all four corners um he wants robux but i have none wink wink but anyways what we want to do now so 
Um, before we do this, I do want to say there I have encountered a few problems with this um, setup because we I, I wanted to do some actual like markings in the ice and stuff for countertops and whatnot. I'm not sure how to go about this in the video, but um, I'll you'll I'll sh I'll tell you about it in a moment. It's not anything you need to be concerned about. But first, what we want to do is we want to grab an eight by four, place it right there, and we're gonna do it on the opposite side as well, like that. There we go, and then uh, we need to somehow find the middle. Ah, boy, I forgot how I did it, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot how I built this, but you want to grab another 8x4? We'll just see, we'll just see where we go, but I'm going to grab an 8x4, place it right here, and do the same thing for the other side as well, and, because this is basically, like, all sides are symmetrical, just different rotations and whatnot. I, I have no robot, wink, wink, how does he know? But what we want to do is we want to grab a short, smooth, well, I'm guessing... Um, place it right here, 4x4, four four, place one right there, and do four, one on all side, or, like, on every side as well. We might have to blacklist some people if they get in, give, no, okay, yeah, we're gonna get rid of him in a moment. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't give Robux to people, it's, uh, it's a crime in Roblox, apparently, because you're not supposed to do that. But, once we have all four of our 4x4s four placed, it should look like this, there we go. And this actually looks pretty cool. Looks cool so far. It's progress. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab a short uh, or a smooth wall, which is an 8x2. Place one right here. There we go. And do the same for the other side as well. And the other one. And the other one. So all four sides. And uh, yeah, he's. I think he's like copying and pasting that now. Uh, goodbye. And place one on the other side. I, I feel bad for blacklisting someone because that's something I don't typically do. And we misplace that other one. But place one on all four sides. Like this right here, there we go. And do the same for the other side. And you should have no 8x2s left. So that's progress. We're slowly eliminating blueprints. And I have no clue where I got this little blueprint right here. I mean, I, when I was taking this part, it just happened to be there and stuff. So that's a bit weird, but um, yeah, whatever. So it should look like this so far. And um, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and... Uh, I hope I'm doing this correctly. Grab a large floor. And you want to place this right here in the middle like that. There we go. And you want to do the same thing for right here as well. Like that. There we go. And here you want to grab another one and place it right here. And same on the other side as well. So then you should have one floor. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to have one floor left. So, uh, waiting for this to load. Don't you dare shut down on me, game. There we go. There we go. Loaded. So, um, I, did, I didn't do complete blueprint efficiency and stuff. But you want to grab a large floor. You want to place it back here like this. There we go. And for these floors, or uh, 8x4s, you want to place this right here in the middle like that. So we have these little corner or these little holes here. And you really need those holes because um, if not, then there will be some problems. But you can grab one, place it right here. You could just, or hold on, guys. So you want to grab an 8x4, place it there, and then you grab another one and place it right there. Come on. Okay, that's not going to work. Place that there, and then just, let's try this one. And then place this right here. So take note, we use two 8x4s right here, but instead you can use a one 8x8, um, basically, and place it there, but um, and replace those two. But you can do whatever you want. And now what we want to do is we're going to grab the post and. Um, uh, actually, no. So, guys, th there's a bit of a problem that co we come across with um, when building this. So, um, let me just. Oh, wait, no, we need to finish one. Of the, let's do one of these holes, because that's one of the examples. So I want to grab a small tile, place it right here, make sure it's a smooth surface, surface, and do the same for right here, and to, until you, there's like a little hole left, that's it, that's a, that would fit a tile. So, and then you want to place one right here, like this, and yeah, so here's a hole, and then you want to grab a thin countertop, you get that blueprint at uh, Fancy Furnishings, and so one problem I countered when I was building this, um, I was not getting this in, but apparently... <coughs> <laughs> apparently that is a problem but for for now we just like do this really quickly let's just place this in here for now and then place one on top just to get this to fit in if it's going to get in oh my gosh uh how about we do this a different way let's get rid of this small tile place that right there for now and it, actually I, that might be a bit difficult to find because it's just um all ice so completely blends in but you want to make it so that like yeah, let's just place that there and then grab another one uh, for time's sake. And place one on top like that. There we go. And then you want to move this small tile as well. What? Okay, yeah, it's still there. And you can get rid of this one and place it somewhere else like that. 
But one of the problems is, is when you're playing hockey, um, oh gosh, garage door's opening in my house. Uh, but like, one of the problems I have with this is, come on, get in. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, I don't like working with tiles in this why. So, this is like, uh, like actual hockey stuff. Like, they have that there for when the goalie catches the puck or whatnot. I don't know the official stuff of this game, but one problem I came up with was the fact that if you have a piece of, let's just say a puck, and it goes in here, it's stuck because, yeah, so you have to lift it out and stuff. So, one thing I um, f actually came up with is you could just... There's a little glitch I'll show at the end of the video to deal with that. But for now, we're going to fill this all in and stuff. So, yeah. So, you you can take note of that little glitch and just continue building this. Or you can, like, just do whatever. I don't know. But you want to place a thin countertop right there. There we go. And place one on top because apparently it's too difficult to do otherwise. And you can remove this. And do the same for that. Grab another one and place it on top. Like that. There we go. And do the same for the last hole. And basically what it is, is you take out all the blueprints, make sure it's empty, put in a window pane, reload your base, and while it's loading in, you press E on that uh, window, press move, and then press B quit, and then it'll be invisible, you can place whatever you want in there, and it'll be a smooth surface and stuff. So I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video, or I'll just put a link in the description, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, let's get one more countertop, or a thin countertop, and place it right here. So, yeah, there we go, let's move this, and place that right there. And that is how it should be so far. So now what we want to do is you want to cover all the other holes up like we did so with that first one. You want to place one right here. There we go. And do the same for all the other little holes as well. Cover them all up. And yeah, I don't. I, I do want to do some editing out this video. It wasn't going to be so long, but if I skip ahead of anything, then that will might confuse some people and that's the last thing I want to do with this amazing tutorial so let's place it hi come on uh, this is why I don't like to ask so I'll place that there there we go finally went in and we have four left uh, six left I believe place that there and grab this place it right here there we go and then what we're gonna do in the middle is we're gonna do like a little um, um, uh, mid line midfield line mid mid ring I don't, I don't know the middle line we'll just call it a middle line it's, that's improper name i don't know proper hockey terminology but i, I i've watched it before I, I like the st louis blues the best um or the most um but anyways let's just get this in here there we go and let's get the final um uh small tile in right over here there we go and that is how it should look so far and now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab some posts and place, uh, we're going to place all eight of them. So place one there and one here like this. And then we're going to go to the opposite side and place one right here. There we go. Um, hello. I might want to blacklist you because I feel like some stuff might get glitched. Uh, so you're going to place another post right here. So this should be an 8x2 area right there. And we'll put in some of the countertops there in a moment. So then we're going to do the same on the other side like that. Place one post there. Place another post right over here. There we go. And do the same for the final two on the other side. And uh, we'll be close um, closer to completion. So this is almost done. Don't worry. It's a, it's a long build, but I mean, it's been requested build the hockey rink and stuff. So I'll place another post right here. And there we go. So then what we want to do is we just want to get rid of all these thin countertops and stuff. Who left? Uh, who left? So place one thinner, uh, thin countertop right there on the ground and then place one right here. There we go. So then it's elevated and whatnot. But then you want to place another. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, wait, no, I'm not stupid actually. Um, but just one solution you can possibly do. Um, is just place that on top like this and then slide this like oh yeah you could just do it like this is that that's actually uh, level I believe yeah it's level so you can do that like that guys um, but it won't work for the other ones because you would actually need a much smaller um, much uh, smaller countertop that you don't that's not really in the game you'd need a hey, two by two uh, thin countertop but that's not gonna work but we could just use these uh, thin countertops as well and place that there so we'll work on a portion of this so 
it would save some time and stuff of doing that glitch and stuff that'll show you at the end of the video but it should look like this and then sadly though for the middle um you can't really do that glitch i mean actually you can uh do we want to do it yeah why not so um i'll show you oh gosh uh no uh please please don't glitch stuff so uh anyways so there's two ways you can do this actually i just realized you can either do all four countertops like this and place this on the ground and elevate it and then there'd be a little crease in the middle or what we can do is i can't believe i didn't think of this earlier but we can do um get the thin countertop right here you can place uh one right here one right here you can place another one here rotate place that there so this is like a total of what um four six total and place one right here and it should look like this and then you can go in the middle and place a four by four in the middle so that is uh, i've never actually uh modified a build during a video but i'm too lazy to trim that out and so you can either you can do it either way um i think this is going to be much better actually than four countertops but do whatever you prefer so now what we're going to do we're going to get some ice wood and stuff i don't want to use that because that's my hockey puck uh, but some generous people have donated Icewood, so thank you to them. I think Seniac101100 donated. So thank you for that, Seniac. He gave some Icewood. That's not the actual Seniac. It's the, um, basically like a knockoff, uh, knockoff brand. I don't know. But um, one of his fans has similar username and stuff. So ooh, we got to keep a uh, watch out for this. It's, it might accidentally go into the blueprint, the entire thing. And I don't, really, I don't even know if I have that much Icewood, but... I don't want to cut ahead in case I might confuse people. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention I accidentally deleted my recording software yesterday. So, that was another problem I had to deal with. So, uh, let's chop some ice wood here. Um, do you buy the creative? I don't know what he means. Like, lumber taking two creative mode or something else. But, yeah. I have the creative mode, basically. Uh, that does not look very good. Looks a bit unstable. So, basically... Um, yeah, you need. I, mean, I already have a solution. I'll show you for these uh, four little holes that the puck might get stuck in and stuff. But for now, uh, we can just fill this in in the middle and do some blueprint efficiency and whatnot. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, let's just chop this up. Uh, 26 minutes. I mean, it's gonna be a different timestamp if you look at the video right now because, like, I'm trimming some parts and I'm uh, uh, time lapsing a bit of it, the majority for the corners and stuff. But Let's chop this right here, fill that in, you can also skip ahead if you don't want to watch me chop wood and stuff during a tutorial, but, uh, final piece, just chop here, and, yeah. There we go, and place it in there, there we go, voila. That is complete, so now the hockey puck, uh, do we have, maybe we just use this for a demo, wait, no, where's my eyeball? So, yeah, now it's actually slick, and, uh, I don't know what this is, but, like, yeah, there we go. So it's slick and it slides across, uh, across, but here's the problem with this. I mean, this might not really occur, but it will get stuck. But you just do the window pane glitch, which I'll show you in a moment. But now, guys, we have actually completed this, and I'm going to show you how to do one of the goals. I'm not going to show you how to do all of them, but or both of them. But first, what you want to do is you want to line this up to about, like, right here. Uh, you want an 8x4 blueprint, and then make sure it's, like, four studs away from the back wall. Same here. And then move forward like that. There we go. And then you want to place a one on its side like this. There we go. So you don't fill these in. But what you do is you want to grab um, wires. I have three. I hope this is enough. And uh, basically, this is going to be what a hockey goal is like. So you can place one right here. Right here. Right here. And then possibly see how far you want to go. Up. I think this is going to be perfect height. And then uh, you can't really go down because you do run out of space and stuff. But we'll press finish for there. We're going to go ahead and grab another wire. And do this. So you grab that. Place it down here like this. Run it across. And, um, oh boy. That's a bit too high. Let's get it like that. I think that's almost equal height. And now what we want to do is, um like go ahead and connect all this together so you want to grab a uh, wire place it there connect it across like that and then go down but there's like a collision issue so let's try this like right here no right here um or right here there we go 
and connect it to the bottom like that, and that's your hog eagle. And there is a problem, though. You can score from other sides. You can do more wire, prote wire protection if you want. But basically, this is a simple goal where you can score, and yeah. So let's actually demo this, and then we're going to do the glitch. I'll show you how to do the glitch and stuff. So, but yeah, basically, you can play hockey now and score and stuff. Uh, you can cheat as well, but I, I, you, you can do your own wire protection. Like, you just add some more wires so people can't do that. And now let's fix this little bug where that gets stuck in there, uh, in that little thing. But yeah, this is hockey. And I've actually played with, with fans, and it's been pretty entertaining. So yeah, let's do the bug. Alrighty guys, so for this what we're going to do is you want to remove all four small tiles, or all three small tiles, excuse me, and place them somewhere else um, for the hole right here. And I'm, I'm going to only do this for one hole, you can do this for all your other ones on your own time, but basically it's the same process. So let's get all the thin, you want to get everything out basically, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little run to the store, uh, fancy furnishings. So we'll technically need a total of four windows but I'm only gonna get one since we're doing one hole and this will um, remove the slickness of that little area though but um, but it does save a little time and hassle from um, having the puck get stuck and whatnot so let's go to Link's Logic so oh wait no I, I keep wanting to call it Link's Logic but no so let's lower the bridge hello Senator Rook lower it's a deal he <laughs> he thinks okay let's go so it's lowering slowly and steadily, or steadily, yeah, steadily. I think that's a word. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. So I don't think my ceiling's leaking right now. It's it's reportedly supposed to be condensation stuff, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm too lazy to trim this. I don't really have time because I, I I'm trying to push out the most videos I can with minimal editing, but editing is needed for some parts and stuff like lists and whatnot but hello Danny dude boy dammy dude boy let's just call you Danny and oh my gosh you crashed me um hit me but let's get one window right over here and this is also where you do get thin countertops but probably by now you have figured out where you get them and I don't think you're supposed to be in here with a car but yeah there's thin countertops and stuff over there other kitchen accessories but here oh no one's actually came can't yeah no one's come here so we need one window this is really it and one per hole actually but you need the regular window 4 by 4 chat with Corey hello let's buy it for $220 thank you you're welcome no problem doing business so that nah, just put in your car and drive away and that's basically it and let's head back to our base and while we're going I'm too I don't really work. oh I'm lagging oh okay there we go I hope my game did not crash I was hoping my game did not crash or shut down cuz uh yeah but anyway, that's not fun to deal with. Ah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm too lazy to trim this, so let's make some small talk. Um. Uh, so yeah, I I, I used to, I I was thinking uh f like that my computer had a virus and whatnot. Why it was so slow? Because I couldn't actually play Phantom Forces and stuff. Because like I'm a rank 118 there, flexing on you. Ah! I'm just kidding. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, yeah, I couldn't play because there were all these lags. Basically, like every two seconds, the game would freeze for uh, half a second and stuff. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the window. And you want to... Uh, so basically, when we look at this, the window blueprint has some parts. So one part of it's super high and one part of it's lower. So you want to make sure you place it um, on the bottom side up like this. So that the window is not showing where you've filled this in. So you're going to place the window in the hole like this. And you can do this with a friend if you do have some. Well, actually, no, you can't really. So it should look like this. And you do notice um, if you do have a hockey puck, it will not get caught in the hole like it does with this. Let's actually put it face down. It won't get caught, but instead it will like go over. It will slow down a bit because this is not a slick surface. Um, but it should be minimal effect. And then what you're going to do is you want to press menu, load, and you want to reload this slot and make sure you load in the same exact uh, exact place. And I would recommend standing like right next to the window so when it loads in, you can automatically do the process. So um, this is only data size one, so it's a bit difficult. But the higher data size you are, the more the easier it is to do. And if you're ba if you have nothing on your base besides this hockey ring, it's going to be near impossible to do. But uh, if you want to like increase your data size by a lot, I just recommend um, placing a lot of wires on your base or whatnot. I heard that like really increases it. But I think we should be fine. We're just doing one blueprint. I'm, I, I've last time I did this, uh, it was a much smaller size base. Like I didn't have as much, and I was able to do at least three blueprints. But anyways, it's working. It's loading, and whatnot. 
Uh, no. He's trying to kidnap. No. No. So, we're waiting for this to load in. And it's also helpful to have some laggy or large bases in this game as well if you want to try this out. So, here we go. Press E to confirm and wait for it to. Ooh, and the window loads first. So, you're going to press move, wait for it, and be quit. And boom, you can do whatever you want now. So, um, now the window is not going to be here, but others will see it. And you won't until you reload your base once again. And we could actually do this trick with other uh, other places, uh, but we don't really have any other windows we can press E on. So let's wait for this to finish loading in. Um, money's, wait, there, okay, more, more money's back to normal. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing like we did a moment ago. And uh, basically, I think we need to actually put a regular countertop down here just so we can fit the other one in. But you'll place that there. And then place the other one on top, like so. There we go. And you can get rid of this one, or just any uh, countertop, even an empty blueprint would do just fine. You want to place the surface thing on top, or the three tiles on top, like this, cover it up, and stuff. And you won't notice the effect e either until you um, reload your base. But others others will. Um, it's, it's a weird bug, but I mean, it, or glitch, but it, it works. So... Now what we're going to do is once it's been a minute, you're able to reload your base, and I will be back in a moment. Oh, no, we have to wait 14 seconds, but I'll be back in a moment once we reload our base, and our window will be in there, and it will be back to normal. So yeah, guys, goodbye. Alrighty, everyone, this has been a long video, but this is the one corner we have done, and you will notice the uh, eyeball does not get stuck. Does it get stuck? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't get stuck, guys. So, as you notice, it the eyeball will, or the puck will be able to skate over, but it does <laughs> slow down because the window doesn't really have any friction and stuff. But I, I recommend doing that for all the other four hole or three other holes. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please press that like button and subscribe. Um, if you have any uh, video ideas you want me to do, just comment below. Um, my mom is texting me. How is your phone? It is doing fantastic. So, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. <gasps> <laughs> um, also, I have a tutorial for this. It has 9,000 views. Goodbye.